Hi everyone and welcome to another video. This one is about um, China tools. It's about three tools that I've picked from my Banggood selection. I've got quite a few, but I've just randomly picked a few um, because they are, to me, they are great quality, all these aluminium tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what we have actually got today because they are pretty cool. Don't mind the mess. Sean working in the corner. We need to do some work and make a video at the same time and that's the battle I always have um, when I'm making my YouTube videos because I need to battle it with the work going on and kids and all that kind of stuff. But at the moment, we're making a little OSB unit with LED lights and yeah, we've got lasers and 3D printers and a CNC to, um, to house and the wall and it's kind of like a wardrobe and it's going there. So that is what we're going to do. But anyway, moving on to what this video is all about. It's about Banggood tools in particular. There are other places to buy the tools from AliExpress, all that kind of stuff. But um, Banggood is my go to because I've had good experiences all the way from the start of using them. So when I first bought my first track saw square and my parallel guides, there we go. And the squares. Um, I've got, I've had nothing but, where, where is the track saw square? I've had nothing but good things to say about these, okay? They are fantastic. And everyone who's bought one after I've reviewed those tools, um, there are loads of reviews for these, by the way, have a look up there. They've come back to me and said, you're right. Anyway, so I'm carrying on with the bank good because I love what they do sell and they are very good quality so there are three that i've picked out today and the first in particular is a square okay so this square um is from well it's a hong dewey that is the name okay so they sell a lot of hong dewey stuff and um, bangad do but this one is a collaboration between Hong Dewey and the guy from Hooked on Wood. Okay, so anyone who knows um, Hooked on Wood knows he knows his stuff about woodworking and tools. Just see his workshop, it's fantastic. So go and check out his channel. But he's kind of like collabed with Hong Dewey, I believe, to make this piece of art. It's really, really fantastic. It's lovely. It's um, anodized aluminium at the top. Um, and it's got all these little bits that move in the side and space to put your little mechanical pencil. I've not actually looked into all of this um, properly. Just literally opened it. But today, but today is just about showing you the actual tool and what it looks like. Basically, just to give you a little taster of what these tools look like, okay? Oh, it's got a little lever here. Haha, <laughs> figured it out, which is quite clever because that can come away. You could just use that as a ruler. Um, yeah, you can see the way it's been machined. Okay, so that just clips on to the end like so. It's got measurements at the back. It's got thousands and thousands of little increments. Okay, and this is 650 mil long. This particular one let's move on because we've got two more this one again i checked it out i've looked, opened the box <laughs> i've opened the box at least i've not used any of these by the way and the quality of this is fantastic okay so this is a chisel mallet and again this is from hong dewey okay and they have collabed i forgot the name the guy it's a youtube guy again um, I will put a, a subtitle at the top, um, but they collabed and designed this, okay, and the feel of it is really nice, it's heavy, and it's got the nylon blocks, I believe, and these just screw on, screw off, take them off, and change them for the brass, I would have thought this is brass, um, and they just screw on and off, so you can have one on, one off, whatever you like, but it's got a beach handle, Really well made. If you just have a look at the quality of it um, up close. It's exquisite, to be honest, and the feel of it is also. The build quality is second to none. Um, so there we go. That's, that's a chisel mallet. Right, so moving on to the third and final tool. We have got a Bridge City tool, okay? 
And yeah, it's quite surprising how they would be selling some Bridge City um, gear, but um, they are. And um, you probably heard about them. They're really high quality tools and it's a little box. Okay, any guesses? Hey, a little plane. It's tiny, the size of this thing. But the quality is fantastic. Again, it's, it's lighter than you think. Really, really is light. It must all be aluminium, no steel in there, maybe apart from, well, apart from the blade. But um, I might be wrong, but it doesn't feel heavy enough to be a lot of steel in there. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a great little plane, looks nice, well made again. Um, you just can't fault anything that comes from Banggood, to be honest. Um, tool wise, all right, this is all I've tested. Um, tested tons of stuff. Oh, here's another thing we've got the pocket compass, um, we've got squares, more T squares, and loads of other stuff. But everything aluminium that we tested so far has been 100% quality. It's been fantastic. So there we go. This is the Bridge City Toolworks um, HP 8A low angle block plane. And um, yeah, these guys have collabed with Banggood also. So check out, they do more than just this plane, they do other stuff. Okay, so well worth a little look. Um, but there we go. There's a few little testers or something that you can have a look at. Um, we've got tons more. I'll be doing more of these in the future. I've got 30 or 40 more to just show you. But I wanted to give you a little glimpse on these products. They look fantastic so far. Can't wait to use them. Hope they helped, guys, and gave you a little insight into what these look like. If you've got any other requests on other tools that you might have in your mind, then give me a shout. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Banggood and their tools. So there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you've got any um, requests, let me know, leave them in the comments and just make sure you do leave a comment, that'd be great. Other than that guys, have a great Friday. I'll see you next Friday, take it easy.